All right, so you're at the point where you've already taken these three movie files off of your GoPro. That's what these three are right here. And you want to get the GPS data off of them. So I'm going to show you a solution called the telemetry extractor. I'm using the premium version, uh, but if you only had one file and you wanted to extract GPS data, you could do that with the what they're calling the light version. But we'll show you the premium. So let's drag these three onto the program. It takes a minute to read them. We'll pull this into the middle of the screen now. Minimize our files. And what it's doing, the GPS data is packaged in with each of the video files. So they're MP4 files. And that file format allows you to put some extra data in there. So you have the movie itself, but then you can pack metadata in there as well. So the GPS data, all the coordinates are contained in the file. This program's pulling them out. All right, so there are a few things that I do at this screen. The one thing is that I wanna tell it to merge these files together. So this is a step you would not have with the free version. You do one file at a time, but I'm going to merge these files. And then I'm just going to say that I want the GPS data off of it. All right, so you could get data from other sensors as well that are on the camera. We're just going to do GPS. And to the left, there are some settings. I've messed around with changing these. It does make a big difference in the file size. What I've ended up on is one hertz for the frequency and a smoothing of two. Probably just try different settings for you until you find what works. I put a check mark on remove gaps because why wouldn't you want to do that, right? It just sounds like a good thing. I'll leave the rest as it is. And then on the right, you can choose the export format. So if you just want it in GPX, which is kind of the industry standard markup for GPS data, maybe you want to upload it to a mapping program that you have, you can choose that. What I've done is I've exported it to an After Effects file. I'll link to the next video as soon as it's made about what I do with that. But we'll say After Effects, and it just makes the file. So it just puts the file in your file explorer and I'll show you the result of doing this. So I'll pull up a movie I've made with it. I put it into After Effects and then I laid it over a movie that I made and you'll see in a second. So this is just a map from OpenStreetMaps. But this overlay right here is from data that I extracted from the GoPro, right? So you can put it in all the movies that you made. All right, I'll see you in the next movie about how to use that in After Effects.